NAB show in Las Vegas. Hi, I'm Ashley Blinkenship with In Broadcast. We're here at the 2016 NAB show. Joining me is Jean-Francois from Image Matters. Thanks for being here. Thanks for inviting me. Sure. John, can you tell us a little bit about Image Matters? Oh, Image Matters is a Belgian company. So we have chocolates, we have beers, we have very interesting things. Amongst that, we have um, wonderful uh, audiovisual technologies. We have a lot of companies working in the audiovisual, and Image Matters is one of them. Okay. And what's new for you at the show this year? Oh, this year we do present a new module. And uh, you brought it? Yeah, what, I brought what, it. What is this? So the, this is a module that is based essentially uh, on exciting chip which includes everything you need to run it. So it's an FPGA, it's a highly processing power, which is eco-friendly also, because it's not uh, consuming a lot of power, uh, while it's very open to be integrated in different applications with the processing of the hardware level. The target of this module has been to split uh, the processing complexity of implementing the FPGA from the baseboard, which is more an application board, where you could route your signal directly to what is your application. And was there something else also that you said you were highlighting this year? There's yes. a couple things, right? Yes, that's correct. Beside the module, we need a full ecosystem around sure. to enable a quick uh, implementation on any application. So in the ecosystem, we because we need something that is very challenging. So we took as a partner in the ecosystem, uh, Samtech. Samtech is making the connector and uh, they, they've done a wonderful job in designing for us a connector, uh, which is uh, up to 1150 pins here. So it's a very highly dense connector with each pins being 16, 26 gigabit per second capable. So it's a uh, huge amount of uh, data that you could cross through the connector. That connector is also used to, to transfer to our, the power supply for the module, and it's the single connector for the module. So you use the module by plugging directly to a baseboard. Designing the baseboard, we do propose baseboards, generic baseboards, but as I said, it's much more targeting the OEMs. The OEMs, the system vendors, are usually having their own form factor with the input in front or on the back, right. with such power or another power line. So that's up to them and they need to, to have their identity. And the module is not precluding them to have their identity. The module is just a piece of hardware they could insert onto their PCB to enable their PCB to do right. things. What can do the module here is what we find in the ecosystem. So what do we have there? We have also the IP core vendors. The IP core vendors are pre-validated IP cores to do the different kind of things you need in the audiovisual business, like the codec or like the wrapper, the format wrapper. So you could have the wrapper for IP communications. Right. Over gigabit Ethernet, 10 gig Ethernet. But beside that, it's interesting to have image compression, encoding, decoding. There we have Tico, JPEG 2000, we have MPEG, we have HEVC. So all the IP vendors and within the ecosystem, you will find multiple vendors for the same IP. So you will have the selection of your own flavor, your own uh, needs answer uh, by the ecosystem. And at the very top of that, you have the tools to do the HLS, a high level synthesis that enables you to work just at the graphical level, connecting the pre-validated block between them, or to work at the C level with your C programmer doing your own routine that you could insert into the graphical interface. Or if you want, you could go down to the very low level definition of the hardware of the FPGA that enables uh, to design your very efficient routines that could be specific to you, like a watermark routine. There are not a lot of watermarkers and there are not IP vendors there. Okay, so you need, you need to do your own 
uh, routines there. And there are people doing that for them. I'm sure it will be. Thank you for bringing this and sharing all that knowledge with us. We'll definitely have to check out your booth. Yeah, and thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm Ashley Blankenship with InBroadcast.